Yeah, I'm at the alley and you're 14th, and uh, I don't see my pickup. Check that address for me. Yeah, it's, um... Hey. Jesus! Hey, are, are, are you all right? Uh, don't, wait, wait, don't, don't, don't move. Don't move. Oh, Just, God. all right, all right, don't, don't move. I'm, I, I'm gonna get some help, all right? No, hold no, on. No, 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 give it to me. You got it, right? Give no. it to me. I, I, to I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I need the piss, man. I need the piss. All right, look, if you got a piss, just don't do it on the cab, all right? Don't mess with me, man. I, I'm not messing with you. We got the whole world's been messing with me. This whole race has right. been screwed up from the beginning. The innocent people bleed and the rats, they race. You're not entitled, man. You're not entitled. You're not entitled to anything. You don't own anything. Hey, hey, Nobody, hey. nobody's entitled to anything. All right, all right, all right. Just, just hold on. Don't get lost in the... Calm down, man. Just cool it, right? I need it, man. Oh. Hey! Hey! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Stop it! What are you... What are you... What are you... What are you... Calm down, all right? Somebody get some help! Hey, 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 you guys saw what happened, right? I can't do this, Molly. Michael, you're lucky the judge bought this deal and didn't enforce the bail that you cannot afford. The guy attacked me, Molly. Unfortunately, the witnesses didn't see it that way. You still don't believe me. What matters now is to get the assault and battery charge gone. You know what a conviction like this would do to our case against Gen Tech? Just go along with this drug research program and I can get that charge erased. And you know, it wouldn't be so bad to win two million dollars against Gentech. Couldn't hurt. It's not about the money, Molly. I know, of course. First they'd fire me, and, and now they'd drown me if they get away with it. And once we get the corporate files at Gentech unsealed, we can beat them. But you see, no court is going to make that happen with a record profiling you as violent. You know I'm not violent, Molly. And no 12-step program's gonna help. It's not it. a drug rehab program. It's a drug research program. Yeah, well, I'd rather take my chances in jail. Compared to jail, it'll be like a stay at the Hilton. Is this him? You gotta be kidding. The Hilton. All right, maybe more like Motel 6. Per order of the State of California Corrections Department, I hereby consign you officially to the custody of the Strawn Foundation in the person of its representative, Mr. Mobius. If I come out of this chanting about past lives or aliens, I will never forgive you.
You'll forgive me when we get the two million. I sure could have used one of these in my cab some nights. It serves its purpose. What do you use it for? You'll have to ask Dr. Strawn about that. He's a genius. Okay. Thanks for the, uh, ride. You trying to get people, uh, out or in? Dr. Strong refuses to be a slave to appearances like the rest of the medical establishment. Oh, so, so he's established. He uses his government subsidies to go into his research. He's a genius. I know, he's a genius. You must be Michael. And uh, you can't be Dr. Strom. No, he's not in the office today. I'm Dr. Susan, Susan Verger, Verger, the research supervisor. Sounds so serious. Well, we take our work here very seriously. Really? I heard Dr. Strom throws a good party. Dr. Strom is all business. No alcohol, no phones, no television. Even dictators permit CNN. Well, we're not dictators. We're just dedicated. Uh, you have some paperwork for me? Thank you, Mobius. All right, you're gonna have to fill this out before we can proceed. Proceed with uh, what exactly? Well, your record indicates that you warranted treatment for a condition that we call here at the Strawn Institute RID. RID? Rage Inversion Disorder. And you're gonna get rid of my rid? You're not the gatekeeper, you little Igor! Uh, excuse me. Mobius, you know walk-ins are prohibited. He said you were expecting you. Hey, Doug. Mr. Baders, your testing period was finished last week. No, well, we can't be finished. We, we, we can work this out. Time to go. Shut up! I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the lovely lady, Doc. Please, didn't I make you happy? We went over all of this when you were released. You didn't release me from shit. Mr. Baders, I think you need to leave. What? Mobius? What's he gonna hey, do? Hey, Lilith will blow. Master Baders, uh, I think, uh, what did you say? He must be the new rage, boy. Michael, what's your business? Are you gonna argue with this? Look, you don't wanna, you don't Shut up! And get out. Yeah, 
shirt off. So, is that what I have to look forward to? Mr. Bader's had way too many anger and addiction issues when he came to us. Well, he ob obviously liked what you had to offer. I'm sorry for the disruption. You probably get lots of guys like that. You know, guys more qualified for this. Well, actually, the focus of this current study is on repressed rage. Really? So let's say you have a volunteer. Well, our volunteer research alternative to court sentencing entails special treatments and programs designed to... Excuse me. Hello, doctor. Yes, he's here. Yes, he's right here. Yes, I will. In fact, I... We've recommended a special program for you. The doctor will supervise, but I will be in charge. What makes it a special program? There's a stipend. That's a scientific term for money, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, as long as I get paid more than the lab rats. Sorry, how did that happen? Cancer. How old were you? Twelve. And your father? Let's leave him out of this. <laughs> So, would you rank job stress above relationship stress? Sure, you can find another job that makes you happy. At least for another week or two. Okay. And a relationship? No more trick questions. There are no trick questions, Michael. It doesn't take research or therapy to know that a relationship can screw up your life. All right, do you think your marriage would have worked out if you had embraced your anger differently? Maybe. At least between the sheets. Is it hot in here? Yeah, I, I'm afraid so. During your stay here, we'll be collecting as much of your glandular secretions as possible. What? Perspiration, sweat. It's a very important part of the study. You seem to have slept, Mr. Bates. Don't worry. I have something for you. It's in there. 
You know what? I think that we've answered and asked enough questions for today. So I'll just have Mobius show you to your room. Mobius? Mobius? You want me to catch him? Uh, no, that's OK. Um, I'll show you myself. <sighs> Rooms are down the hall. I have some fresh towels here, and I hope you'll be comfortable. Uh, I don't suppose the uh, penthouse is available. Not that comfortable. Now the testing will begin after a 24-hour fast. What? No food? No. We need you to be mentally and physically prepared. Oh, and I have uh, the book of psychotronics here. You need to familiarize yourself with it. A chapter a day is recommended. Oh, so uh, a chapter a day keeps the doctor away? Something like that. What about Dr. Strawn? When do I meet him? That all depends. On what? When he wants to meet you. Dr. Strawn's psychotronics will prepare you mentally for our testing experience. Well, I think you'll be comfortable. After the fast, we'll be. Psychotronics is the modern science of self-empowerment. The only foolproof method to direct the mind's destructive power outward rather than inward. Anger is a road sign to follow on the highway of our emotions. A road sign, yes. Our anger may be telling us that we are not stopping to do an important mission. It may be a warning that we are being hurt, that our rights are being violated, or that we are doing more or giving more is good for us.
detects body heat. If you remove it, it goes off. You're not allowed to go more than 50 feet from the building. Yeah, thanks, Mobius. I would never want to leave your good company anyway. Good morning. Oh, great, you're up. How's your arm? Uh, it's okay, thanks. Okay, we're gonna be starting in first thing. Have a seat. It's not as painful as getting your teeth pulled. <sighs> Thank you, Mobius. Now, for your first treatment, I'll be giving you a very small dosage. The effects will be very mild. Uh, Mobius, we won't be needing the sample catcher for this first session. But, but, it, but it's all clean and ready. Ready for what? Mobius, please, put it back. Mobius? Oh, all right. I realize it looks odd, but it's very important to the work that we do here at the Strawn Institute. It was personally designed by Dr. Strawn. We use it to collect samples and return them back into the treatments. All right, well, I see no reason to put this off. <laughs> How about a last meal? Mm. Nope, not permitted. You did? Tell me about it. I'd uh, rather not. Just keep Mobius away from me. Now, these straps are simply a precaution against involuntary muscle spasms. This must be where you take advantage of me. Now you're dreaming. But I will be right here. Hands, I commend my spirit. Jesus. Sorry, it does take a little getting used to. Uh, Jesus. <sighs> Just warn me next time. Okay, it is common to feel a little restless. And more like a lot. <sighs> don't worry, Dr. Verger, I don't bite. What else makes you angry? Oh, you mean besides telemarketers screaming babies on airplanes and old lady drivers? I suggest you try not to use humor as a way to hide your true feelings. Try to be more direct with your anger, Michael. I was fired from three jobs in the last two years for being direct. Mm -hmm. And now I'm strapped into some low-rent foundation with an unemployed nurse. How's that? If uh, you're not happy with the way you're being treated here... What I don't like is being treated like my anger is a problem when it's really a rational response to the way this is good michael go on go on how are you feeling right now strapped in so you feel frustrated only since i'm strapped in a friggin chair is that the only reason that's not good enough for you doc why don't you tell me more about your father oh you know what happens to whistleblowers no, what happened? He wanted me to pretend like nothing happened. Like, like I didn't find anything out. 
Hmm. What did happen? His company was putting genetically altered preservatives into prescriptions. Well, you weren't responsible for that. I was helping hide data. Data that connected the drugs to birth defects, to, to cancer. I understand. You can't begin to understand. You know, you really like strapping me in this chair and sticking it to me, don't you, Doc? Look, Mr. Dare, it's all part of the program. Oh, stop blowing smoke up my ass. Congratulations, Mr. Dale. You lived up to your name. Without men like you, men like me would be forever huddled around our test tubes and computer screens. Strawn. Timothy Strawn. May I call you Michael? Yes, go ahead. It won't bite. Yes. How do you feel? I don't know. Uh... I feel, uh... Reborn. I can see it in your eyes, Michael. And just think what your first taste. Revel in it. All right. He's responded rapidly to the treatments, Doctor. Excellent, Dr. Merger. From childhood, we're told to hold back our rage, you know. To hide it. Disown it. So sick. Then a little later in life, we're given a choice. Incarceration, medication. We're prodded down the slaughterhouse chutes of the penal system. Or into the pill-popping oblivion of psychiatric care. Either way, we take it up one end or down the other. <laughs> Pardon my vulgarity. But I say, let it out. You may have something there, Dr. Strong. You're a hero, Michael. You've chosen the path of the pioneer, like our good Dr. Susan here. I would like to celebrate your courage in taking that path. Mobius! Doctor, alcohol is and probably... And the merger's indispensable hand at the controls. I couldn't ask for a better team to advance my research with the sample catcher to the next level. A toast. To Dr. Verger. New beginnings, new understanding. Why would the history of religion, Buddhism, medieval Christianity, and the like instruct us so beautifully in the ways of inner peace, yet feature savage symbols like gargoyles and five breathing dragons? I don't know. Why? To teach us not to be afraid of our inner demons, to embrace the rage that. Religion never made much sense to me, Dr. Strong. 
But you might have just put it all in a nutshell. It was all my fault. See, it doesn't happen again, Virgil. Mobius! Hello? Wow. Yes? Is all right. Mobius is taking a tumble. Is all. You're all right down there, yes, Mobius? Yes. Right. You see. So, uh, that's the good doctor. Uh, Michael, no, you shouldn't be drinking this. Why don't you go back to your room and I will finish the post trial analysis? I don't think so. Michael? Michael, where are you going? This isn't just for your whereabouts, okay? It tracks your vital signs, your oxygen intake, your, your blood count, your heart rate. You need this. your reaction to the anger stimulant. Dr. Strawn is putting you on his most advanced program. What for? Because he's dedicated to helping people. Well, I can see why you find him inspiring. Don't you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I do. And what he said about uh, stuffing it and compromising. Have you compromised, Michael? Until you learn how to listen, you won't get special treatment. Pressure time. So when do we uh, get to do that special test again? Not now. Come on, I'm good to go. It's all part of the test. I realize it might be a little boring. Look, 
You've given me a taste of something. Now let's explore it. What you need is a break to clear your head. <laughs> is that your uh, personal or professional prescription? Well, personally, I recommend meditation. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I apologize for the inconvenience of my frequent departures, don't. It's all right. You're a busy man. Hey, Doc. Thanks for stopping by. Susan? Uh, I hope I'm providing some good entertainment, but um, I've read most of the books, and uh, I'm going through yours for the second time. It's, it's interesting, but unless I get something else to do around here, I'm afraid I might just have to check out. Of course, Michael. Uh, Mobius, how you doing? Don't you have something better to do? You must be as impressed as I am with our patient after three days, Doctor. He has exhibited some inconsistent cooperation. Regardless of that, he seems to be responding to your supervision, so feel free to exercise a less formal approach. The book's requested. Want to come in? Sure. Okay, here you go. <clears throat> the uh, second one was really good. Oh, thanks. This is uh, it's going to be a lot better than the tapes. Okay. You know they say uh, they said that uh, that uh, anger can fuel a relationship. Do you believe that? I reserve my opinion as your doctor. Um, you'll find out more about that in the books. You're so beautiful. Michael, the study. by the sample catcher and the coffee. The formula seems to be having an extraordinary effect. your balls has nothing to do with it. What's wrong? 
wrong with you? Dr. Virgil? Dr. Strawn, um, we were just getting ready to do more tests. Oh, I see. Uh, doctor, could you tell me about the uh, patient in the basement? I didn't want him interrupting our work. Well, most patients don't have locks on the outside of their door. Your enthusiasm and curiosity is well noted. I suggest we move right on to the next level of testing, shall we? Yes, Dr. Strong. Is that all right with you, Michael? It's okay with Dr. Berger. It's okay with me. for everything and you just go right along with it take a seat well you certainly have gotten over your anxieties about the testing I never felt better As a matter of fact, I, uh, I want to thank you. Thank the testing. It's not the testing, it's... I... Whoa, whoa. Are you okay? Hey, hang on. No hang need on. to thank me, okay? Just... Hey, sit down, sit down. God, it's hot in here. Here, you spilled. This is just your reaction to the truth. 
treatment. I'm glad you're here. This security bracelet doesn't give me much time. I can't go through with this, Molly. You gotta get me out. This, this foundation, Strawn, it's, it's not what it seems to be. Michael, you're not making sense. Strawn's keeping someone. I, I think it's, it's a prisoner in the basement. After you go to jail, you stay there for a while, our lawsuit is dismissed, you won't Molly. even be able to get a job as a volunteer in a sperm bank. Tell me what you know about this Dr. Strawn. Your father worked with him. What? 
You you knew he worked for Gentech and you didn't tell me? I couldn't. Strawn wouldn't work with us if I told Wait, you. Wait, hold on. No, Strawn. Strawn is going to testify with us against Gentech. What, 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 what are you working my father too? Calm down, Michael. When do you calm down? You're supposed to be my lawyer. And now I find out you're double dealing with him. I'm not double dealing, and you are my first priority. Oh, well, I'm glad I made the list. You know, I, I want you to know that you're not the only person that your father has screwed. Gentek was the key sponsor for the Strawn Foundation, and when your father dumped Strawn and his research project onto the street, Strawn tried to kill himself. He jumped off of a building, Michael. And the fact that he's a cripple now is the kind of stuff we need to win our case. What's she doing here? I called Dr. Berger and told her to uh, release the bracelet and come and get you herself. You called her? I had to, Michael. If they drop this whole deal and they let you go, you'll just go straight to jail. Just find out if the bum who attacked me worked for Strawn or my father. You're a piece of work, Molly. I want you to come back, Michael. Finish our research? Well, let's just say uh, I'm ready to finish what we started. abstaining from the drug treatment for another day, okay? Let's see what you've been working on. You're wearing a new shampoo, aren't you? What? Just what is it exactly you're doing here? Dr. Strawn agreed to let me work with you. Alone. Oh, she likes me. She really likes me. I'm fond of you, yes. Michael, there's a family member here to see you. I told you I don't have any family left. Michael, your father's outside. Look, I want you to use this opportunity, okay? It might help. Have you gotten yourself into now? You make me well, I wish I could explain what happened between us and your mother. I sucked the life right out of her. You killed her. Try to understand. Oh, I understand. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. That's why as your last liability, you just soon I disappeared to. And so you paid off my lawyer and to send me here, you worthless piece of shit! Thank <laughs> you. 
He was just trying to help. Give me a break. Michael, I'm doing the best that I can under these circumstances. You have no... synthesize glandular secretions to determine anger. I should be able to evaluate your chemistry for other emotions, Michael. Wait, wait a second. What, what, what are you doing? Stop it. Hold on. What, what's the matter with you? I hope this is not another distraction, Dr. Birch. No, uh, but I don't think that this patient is receptive to further treatments. Perhaps the patient just needs another outlet for all that pent-up energy you've managed to release. you join me in the lab. You've done a fine job, Doctor. What is he doing? Taking care of some long, unfinished business. Amazing, isn't it? The human brain comes wired for asserting anger. Uh, who is he doing this to? Michael is an ex-Gen Tech employee. Now say goodbye to your backup. Like all good corporations, they are true champions of modern-day repression. They buy the Hinman account. In exchange for a corner cubicle and a health plan, they ask only for your soul. But this doesn't have anything to do with our study, Doctor. Be proud, Dr. Bircher. Proud of what? Michael's retribution is a natural expression of his recovery. Of justice. Goodbye to human resources. Well done, Michael. They'll never recover from this. You're sending out viruses? This is just the beginning. Look, Doctor, I I'm not sure that I'm the right person to, to, to carry on with this project. Nonsense, Susan. I have total confidence in you. Your work is excellent. No, I, I will not be responsible for this kind of regressive behavior. Hey, this is where all your hard work pays off. Oh, go ahead, walk away. Or stick around and stand up for yourself for a change. Michael, you're just having a rage attack. A good observation, Doctor. I mean, but you, you you just take it and keep coming back for more. You expect humiliation. Doctor, I do not expect to be insulted by out-of-control patients. Don't take it personally, Doctor. Betrayal and anger bring truth. What doesn't break us makes us stronger. I know you know what it's like to trust someone, to put your faith in fuck-ups instead of sticking around and taking a risk. Am I right? Look, whatever this is, it's making you toxic, Michael. That may be your opinion, Doctor, but I see a man who's ready to take on the world. That's right. Bring it on. Is this sick? Yes. Don't worry, Michael, she'll be back. I will give you all of my time. I will make you my last patient. Back to work. You're about to be replaced. Like the bad mistake that you are.
Timothy? Timothy, I, I, I know I, I told you I wouldn't come back to get more of it, but I really need it. <laughs> Timothy? We'll see who's testing who. That's it? I'm afraid so, sir. I want more! More! Certainly, sir. As much as you like. Come on! As much as you like. left, Michael, and you could have left for good. I think you're addicted to this drug. Okay. <laughs> Tighten it up. Tight as you want, Doc. Let's get to it. I can't. What? Well, I can't give you the drug. You, uh, you can't or you won't? I asked you a question. Strawn has had me double the dosages to strengthen the potency, and the way you're reacting, something's wrong. So what? The stronger, the better. No. I've got to do a blood workup. Oh, come on. Test. I've got to check the toxicity in your body, OK? The levels are getting too high. So, so do it after. Does Straw know about this? No. Where is he? He's in a homeless shelter with Mobius. Oh, just so get so just 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 let me out of this chair. I'll eject myself. I don't need you. It's not true, Michael. I've been monitoring you. Okay. Ah. Oh. We don't know what's going to happen over time with these tests. That's the whole point, isn't it? Isn't that why you're here to finish the experiment? Michael, you're not an experiment to me. Yes, I am. That's why we're here. So just get to it and give me the injection. Come on, give it Michael, to me! no! What? What's happening? What? Come on. The skinny pig was getting the same drug as you, and, and it kept attacking me, so I stopped the dosage. So, so what's that mean? It's going through severe withdrawal symptoms. So you, so, you have, so you have to keep me on the drug? No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. I have to figure out a way to get you off of this, because any higher toxicity levels in your body will kill you. I, I've, I've got to go to Strawn's office. I, I need more data to figure out what to no, do. No, wait. Just let me help you. No, Michael, you are too volatile right now. I'm not volatile. Just... Susan. You have to stay calm, okay? Your adrenaline levels get too high, and it intensifies the drug's effect. Susan, get me out of this chair so I can go with you. Just do it, please.
He's been watching me work the whole time. Yeah, that's not all he's been watching. Creep. Jesus. Susan, your your sweat, it's it's green. Oh my god. Oh my god, Michael. Jesus. Michael, I've been drugged too. It's okay. Oh my god. It's alright, we're gonna. We're gonna... It's locked. Here, it's all it's Strong's personal journal. It's, it's July 1st, 1990, week eight. Injection number 56, two treatments a day. He's been injecting himself? Yeah. How could he? I mean, the human body can't take that kind of abuse unless there, there's some kind of antidote. Unless he, he, he's got a way of purifying his blood. Look, these tapes, they're dated too. Check this out. November 7th, first trial on the missus. If we can impact the development of the cortex in the third trimester, we can alter the disposition of mankind forever. All right, dear. Please, this is gonna hurt just a little bit. Bear with me. Here we are, and here we are. You're not the only one he's been studying. Human livers. Black markets buy and sell them for medicinal purposes. Yeah, but prolonged use can cause brain disorders, even fatalities. Well, so why liver? Because it's where the toxins settle. It's what prevents them from killing us. So, so he, he, he could be using it for, for the antidote. I think so. According to Eastern medicine, it's the organ that governs anger. This Michael, he's all set up to collect livers. Jesus Christ. Jesus. He's he's killing his patients and uh, taking their livers? I mean, you said it fries your brain. Yeah, but not if he's figured out some way to purify it. To make an antidote. He must have, because he's still alive. But, but his patients, I mean, they're all... Except the one in the basement. Himself. 
Hi, I'm Larry, and this is my better half. Just kidding. This is my brother, Junior. What the? Uh, uh, ah, she's not our mother, stupid. We gotta get out of here. Move it, move it out. Don't go. Stop her. Stop her. Uh, <laughs> result of experimenting with a pregnant woman. They must have been injecting the drug while the cerebral cortex was still forming. No antidote's gonna fix that. No, but it must be keeping the poor kids alive. Very good, Doctor. Your emergency room experience will come in handy today. Skip it, Strawn. Give us the antidote. If only it were that simple, Michael. Your super drug is mutating into a lethal toxin faster than your liver can filter it. So it's not perfect. We all have work to do. Unfinished work. Mobius. What the? Dad. Dad. I'm giving you a chance for final closure, my lord. Rage is its own sin. It needs a final movement. Mobius. Strawn has a formula for the antidote. Oh my god. They're both addicts. Let him go. The sooner we finish the work at hand, the sooner you'll have your antidote. We've seen your failure as a scientist, Strawn. And as a father. Mobius, go bring my boys up. Look, he has no part in this. Let him go. No part in this? No part in this. All of my research, all of my results, wasted because of him. You, my old friend. Mm -hmm. It looks like I will have the pleasure of cutting that great white whale liver out. Go down and go. For surgery. What surgery? Final closure. Surgery to remove Junior from the picture. What? What's she talking about, Dad? Hardly. I know it's extreme, but Junior is a lost cause. Think of it as removing a tumor, Doctor. Without Junior, Larry will have a chance to become the son I intended. A team of skilled surgeons couldn't pull this off. Let your anger build courage, Doctor. I do it myself, but I'm a bit... jittery. 
Okay, they're gonna need a sedative. They're not the only ones. The antidote works like anesthesia. And their nerve systems are independent. That, uh, makes sense to me. So you had a cure for them all along, and you've kept them locked up downstairs. And now they're both gonna die. My boy Larry will be fine. He may need some reconstructive surgery, quite a bit of reconstructive surgery, perhaps some hormone therapy to smooth out the wrinkles. Rome was not built in a day. You killed their mother? You kill your patients? Who else are you gonna kill, Strawn? Not killing, Doctor, sacrificing. The sons slay the fathers. The fathers slay the sons. You'll see. Well, let's see what your uh, son has to say about that. Michael! <laughs> It's dead, Junior.